il était une fois au pied des Pyrénées. One more human. She had no roots and was unsettled. Just another woman trying to live a simpler, rawer, happier life in whatever countryside she found. Her free spirits moving from place to place. She had no roots, no home. Upon that, she chose to build herself a dream home in the mind. Her heart acting as a shelter where she could find refuge. And everywhere her feet touched the soil, it felt like her dear motherland. Although it was not. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. My home was always within. At the close of a long cycle of wonder and travels, at this very moment in time, I just dream of finally growing my roots somewhere. Oh, my ego, my ego roars and my heart soar to confront this situation I brought myself in. My savings are now depleted and I don't have the resources to buy, rent or build a home. So I chose to surrender and accept to reach out that extended hand, to be kindly accommodated at no cost. You may wonder why I don't simply go and get a job, when in fact, my vision is to get financially independent with my remote business. And it requires a boatload of effort, time and patience to eventually be assez. I refuse to yield. I'm prepared and I'm not afraid. To go through fire and water, to do everything it takes to get there. Including putting my pride aside and accepting to be helped. I feel very fortunate to receive the help of these angel-like people. There's a thing I have to recognize and bring to light. I would never be who I am today without other humans, impactive encounters, people who made me smile on a dark day, people who told me to keep going, but also men and women who hurt me, those who never believed in me and told me I would never succeed. It is thanks to all these different souls I am where I am today, standing here and standing tall. This episode of Getting Help reminds me of how little I am, how little we all are in this world. Doesn't it feel unchaining, freeing to remember this endless universe? Not giving that much credit to self-achievements and responsibilities. I tend to project myself in the future and forget about the present moment. That moment in time that will never return and never be the same again. The one in which nothing else matters but just being alive. Moments of connection, contemplating this third dimension and drifting, floating into the fourth. Moments of being instead of doing.
finding a place in which I could grow my roots is my deepest need today. I can't stop, but imagining myself belonging somewhere for a limitless amount of time, resting my suitcase in the cupboard, and not ruminating over and over about where to go next, until that day clocks in, I feed my mind with images of me painting the first wall of my new house, images of me dancing in my kitchen while preparing a modest dish. When the roots are deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. Too much, I ponder on how I could make my life a cut above. Too little, I hearken back to the ephemeral of all heartbeats. Aiming at a target is good, working for it essential. But what about redefining triumph and glory? What if I recognize that everything shaping my existence today, whether I like it or not, is exactly what is needed? For me to learn, to grow from and blossom. I created this financial and housing situation, me and only me. I will not let my history interfere with my destiny. May today be the day I stop being the victim of my circumstances and commence taking actions towards the life I want. The power is in my hands. Your power is within your hands. Day by day, I venture to be grander than yesterday. And I try, I force my spirit to let go of what I cannot control. Cultivating the now in mindfulness. Trusting the magic universe to heal my wounds. Trusting my inner force to bring me where I need to go. Voluntary releasing my grip on my ideals and dreams. Because in the end, am I not exactly where I wanted to be? Where I should be? Experiencing life to the fullest, to the deepest of both yin and yang creating within this balanced duality. You and I, what are we to be, apart from absorbing both the dark and the light? I got something to tell you, friends. The words you speak, the words you use, and the words you tell yourself, they have a mountainous power over you. Words influence your mindset, shape your biology, and rule your mood. Whether it is spoken, written, or simply thought, each word has a frequency, a vibration impacting our system and the world around us. The universe creates everything with vibrations so we have the power the ability to work with that and to play with it i'm sure you can remember a time when someone used a word you didn't know and yet you understood what it meant how fantastic is that the reason behind this phenomenon is that the vibration of the world itself is enough to carry and share its information 
that's how you can understand the world without even speaking the language. The message is be mindful about the words you use and about the words you tell yourself. In bringing awareness to these words, you actually can manifest anything. So with that in mind, I would really recommend you to choose them wisely. They could either darken your path or enlighten your entire world.